Yo, what is up, everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now they can tune off here in Atlas. We're picking up here with the series with some crafting. We're doing some Intel crafting. So I just made a Intel, full Intel character. Uh, he's going to be my alt for the game. And then we're going to use this to craft all the good stuff. So we'll kind of start out everything with doing this. This way we can kind of get an idea of how all this Intel and crafting and all this stuff works. So basically what I'm going to start with... Is crafting up an Intel set of gear these are all my best fine uh, BPs for things that boost Intel so each like stat can be boosted by a piece of armor so I've got so many BPs from farming all of the maps and stuff that we can make a decent amount of stuff so I want to figure out how this upgrade process work okay so basically we just have to have everything in our inventory and we can just upgrade this as we see fit so let me just so if you go into here, we can just upgrade it right into Intel. So you can buff any of the stats on this armor, any of the bonus stats. That's pretty cool. It's, it's way too complex, though. Like, going through those BPs and trying to figure out which ones are going to be the best for use um, is so hard. Or at least they need to, like, add, like, a like a search function. So uh, anyway, I got a little sidetracked. We're going to do this first. We're going to set up this uh, set of gear. I'm going to try and get everything situated so we can make some, like, decent, like, weapons and things like that. Um, and then we're going to go, we've got a raid uh, that we're going to hit up, and we've also got to head out and probably get some more materials. So I'm thinking we're going to go north on a on a trek. So we're probably going to be doing a lot of stuff today. Let me see how much this boosts the intel. Come on. I just can't wait. Okay. All right. All right. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, it actually says... Right there, so two two percent, a little over two percent, um, and it's giving that in. It's a percent, so it's a little bit harder to tell. But I mean, the higher your intel, then the more this is gonna buff as well. The other thing we're gonna need is a crow. So the crows actually give a bonus to intel. Let's craft up one of each of these. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we craft up the best set. Okay, this was that's actually not bad. Seven point one percent not bad uh decent intel boost and this has got a ton of upgrades so those pants only had what two upgrades three upgrades these have a ton 20 so we can put all these into intel this is gonna cost so much look at this now the gold isn't even that big of a problem i get a ton of gold from stuff it's those that hide and stuff that's ridiculous i didn't know each upgrade took like the bonus mats and everything that's kind of crazy i think i've got hide in here okay we can grab hide if we need to out of here if we run out um let's get some gold so what i was thinking is if we craft this whole set of gear with the best crafting skill possible right and then we wear this set of gear and then craft more of those bps we should get a higher chance for higher intel rolls correct so you could technically infinitely try and stack it but i'm thinking what we do is we use this fine set of gear to craft like a journeyman set a little bit further down the road if it's worth it of course so all right i'm just gonna mess with these i'm gonna upgrade these fully i have to go get more hot i should grab it when i was up there um oh no it's all in my inventory i'm an idiot okay we've got all the hide but look at that it takes I'll just toss in that one whatever all that per upgrade so costly all right i will craft all this gear up and we need to tame a crow and then we will see what we can craft i've got a whole bunch of stuff i need some flint locks and a whole bunch of random stuff so we're, so we're gonna see like how it all gets upgraded and how good of a crafting skill bonus we can get by the way i also uh didn't mention I was gonna include it, but it was so boring. Like I farmed up like 22k gold, and basically that's how I got the levels into this crafter. I basically just sat him by the maps as I farmed him, and he got all the passive XP. So that's where this guy came from, where he got his XP, and where all the gold up there came from too. So uh, I'm gonna mess around with this. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, I messed around with this a little bit. We got ourselves a couple flint locks. And I just kind of made some primitive flintlocks. I don't know if it scales the more you get per BP, um, but it didn't change like a ridiculous amount. So this is the set. I'm just going to scroll over all of them so you can see the intel 
bonuses that each piece gives. I've fully upgraded them, so it costs a lot, but these are about as good as it gets. You know, I'd say fine is going to range with the upgrades somewhere between 5 and 8%-ish per piece. So you can actually get some pretty decently high percent. The thing is, I don't know if it's going to make that big of a difference. So what I did is I made up a couple pistols with the skill, and we'll see what these are like upgraded. All right, so this one, this one was the worst one out of all of them. You only get two upgrades, so 0.3 per, really. So you get 0.6 total. Okay, I really don't think this is worth the cost. So let me put this in here. Or no, this, I'm sorry, this was the best one. I left the best one in here. I don't know what I'm thinking. I said the worst a second ago. This one's 8.3%. So look at that. It's not that big of a difference. We're up you know, 0.6 from our upgrade. Over the whole blueprint, we're only up like 1.4 damage. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't think it's worth it to upgrade these. Definitely not to upgrade them. Maybe to craft the primitive ones instead of normal, or maybe even the upgraded ones instead, but the upgrades, like 0.3 per for two upgrades, it's totally not worth it. Okay, set up my crow trap. We're going to see what this does and how much this affects our intel gain. Maybe this will be making like, you know, 120 pistols out of that 110 BP. It's definitely not. It's not going to help that much, I don't think. I think uh, what people were saying was something like 30 points is what a decent one does. So like 30 points into intel. I don't know if that one's also a percent based one though. So it could, you know, be depending on who is wearing it and why and what and how so um what we're gonna do is we're gonna lead this crow over here that i found it's level 17 i've been looking all over the island and i can't find any like really high level ones so 17 is gonna do i'm just gonna finish out this trap quick very similar to the penguin trap that we used but trust me this, this is top top notch okay come on you need to make me smarter let's go Oh, really? 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 Why? You should come back momentarily. I hope. Sometimes they just get that flea. They just feel like fleeing. Alright, he's coming back. Although, is he coming for me? Are you going for my trap? What the hell are you doing? Hey! Hey! Okay, yeah, he's mad at the trap. I don't know why. He never even attacked it in the first place nor did the trap attack him so i don't know what's up with this thing yo i can't hit it though you kidding me where are you going he's like de now okay so that was not my perfect traps fault obviously it's faulty ai look at that there we whoops whoops <laughs> my bad spoke a little too soon all right We've got our, yo, can you not? We've got our crow trapped. Can you just like go in a corner? All right, I don't have to come back in here now. Okay, I need to grab the earthworms. I was should have them in my inventory, but they spoil faster than anything I've ever seen before. It's ridiculous. Like they spoil, I don't even know, very quickly. Let's grab him. All right, let's see what we can do. He shouldn't come out of the trap as long as I keep it rendered in. I believe they will come out of them like an arc. Earthworms look exactly like meat, which is not uh, not a good sign. If your meat looks exactly like earthworms, you may have an issue. All right, let's see how long this thing takes, or is going to take. So the, the nice thing about this is they can't get out of the trap door, so you can always enter through this. No issues. Cool. All right. Let's knock this sucker out. He has a bit of health. 
More than the penguins, for sure. Ow. Is it purring at me? What the hell is this noise this thing's making? Are you alright? This thing does not... Jesus Christ. What is the sound it is making? <laughs> it's in fucking... It sounds like a lawnmower mixed with a cat. What? <laughs> Alright, it's not that bad of a day. Oh, uh, the earthworms, they're not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna probably hear this sound for the rest of my life. Come on, cat, crow, thing. I need to test this out. I'm lagging, sorry. If you're wondering why I'm looking up and down. Alright, let's name this thing first. Boom, pick up. Let's get out of this freaking cage. Alright, we've got it. Now, the test is going to be how much it actually helps out our crafting character, but it helps me out 20%. Not bad. Whoops. So without it, I'm uh, just, you know, 100% normal. With it, 120. Look at that. And you actually get more per level, too, so or per level it gets. So even as we level it up, no matter what we put the points into, we're going to get more intel buff, too. Of course, we could have tamed a better crow, but they're actually pretty hard to find at high levels, so I need to keep my eye out. This is going to be a good one for now, and then we'll just kind of look around as we go in search of a new one. I want to see how much this does on the crafter, though. Save the rest of the worms. That's it. 11 worms. Okay, so now I've got the crow. I've got our crafting gear, our, our crafted crafting gear. And now I'm just mass producing. I'm just going to use every craft of these BPs. And then I'm going to take the best one. So the best one right now is, let's see here for the gloves, 9.6. Take that out. So the goal, obviously, is to get the best crafting skill possible. So, sorry, I'm trying to read all these as I go through them. 8.6. I'll take that just as a backup because those are both better than what I've got on. So, yeah, technically you could keep doing this and keep, you know, getting a better stat roll, but I don't, it, you'd have to upgrade them every time and it'd be so ridiculous. So, I'm just going to upgrade the best one that we get out of the whole BP set, if that makes sense. These will all just be, I don't know, just use them for fighting. And now I can do all the boots. I went out getting a ton of hide. Like a ridiculous amount of hide. So I can upgrade these. I guess I should probably upgrade each piece as I go. See, this one was a 7.1. Didn't really change that much. Like, it's really not that big of a difference. But, hey, it could help. And this is going to be the one time I do this. You know, I'm going to get my one set of Intel gear. And unless somebody steals it, probably just going to use it forever. So I'm okay spending the extra amount of time. Yeah, I think it's worth upgrading this. This one isn't that big of a bonus, but I know my boots are like 2%, so I need to definitely get better ones of those. So I was disappointed in how much those primitive pistols went up, so I got myself a fine BP here, and we're going to see how much this one goes up. So maybe we can get some decent flintlocks. This one's actually only got three upgrades as well, which is so stupid. Like, why does the hide hat have 20 upgrades and you can make it like really good actually but the guns have such bad depth like damage modifiers i grab all this got that iron wood so if you didn't know each like 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 the fine and journeyman and all that kind of stuff they take multiples of resources so you got to do like two times like you got to do oh you can't actually use the generic wood i thought you could use the generic wood okay you can't use the stuff just titled wood then. I've got blubber and I've got mineral oil. Uh, metal. So yeah, you basically need to have all different kinds of all different resources to make these. I'm just missing the wood. Take some of that. Flintlocks. Give me something good. What am I missing? Okay, I'm going to use that instead. That's a little bit more rare. I just realized that when I was 
doing it that I should probably switch that out. Okay. Because I can't even get that. I don't even know where we got that, honestly. Ten point five, three point one, two point seven. That's one. This one's not bad. Not bad. Um, see, the damage really isn't that big of a difference, unless you're getting like I don't know, forty percent crafting skill bonus. But I've got a lot going for me in the intel department, and I, that's the highest. That's the highest number I've seen. Ten point five, right there. That's it. So. How much are we talking per upgrade? Yeah, it's pretty costly. We're going to do it, though. Just for these. We'll use these for, like, select occasions. If you get somebody's upgraded pistols and stuff, you're going to be so happy, though. <laughs> All right, cool. At least we've got some crafted up that are a little bit better than the baseline. This is going to be really the way to go. I think the carbines, like, those upgraded, that's going to be crazy. I wanted to test it out on the, the flintlocks first because I wasn't sure... How much it was all gonna help um, but we'll wait on the carbines till I get more levels into this crafter I think all right now it's time for the good stuff so I got my nice upgraded set of fine and now I'm ready to make up the journeyman set that I've got not all journeyman I guess this uh, plate is actually really good but it was way too costly for me to do for the last round of stuff so we actually ran out to the tundra got even more stuff and now I've got more things to work with, so that was kind of holding me back. The keratin on this one was the issue, actually. So, let me learn. It kind of sucks you have to learn the, like, skill, even when you've got the blueprint. That's what I really don't like. So, let's craft up some of these. And then I've got journeyman boots, uh, gloves, a better hat, and that I'm going to craft up all those. And then we're going to make these cannons and swivel guns. Um, this is the set that I've got. This one's really not that good compared to the chest, so this chest is going to be a big upgrade. Even without the upgrades. Yeah, even without the upgrades, it's better. 4.7 on this one. Okay, let me get this all situated and we'll make up these cannons and swivels. We've got to get these on the boat. Okay, now i got to learn a heavy cannon. That sucks. 14 points right there. But look at these. 112. 112 primi? It's pretty good. We've been sinking a lot of ghost ships to get crew and just levels on the boat and stuff, so the amount of cannon BPs I've got to work with are it's crazy. Alright. 1.6%, okay. 6.0. Alright, these can get some damage. See, this is definitely gonna be worth it, like a hundred percent when we get to the point where we're doing like legendary or mythical or something like that, where like Maybe it's 140 and then you get like a 7% boost or something. Down here in the low range, you're not talking too big of a difference, but the crafting skill is consistently getting higher. So we're working in the right direction. This is the set I was working on. I actually made them without um, doing those just because they didn't have upgrades. Uh, they weren't as upgraded or as good, not upgraded. I didn't have as much hide as I would have wished. All right, let's make these swivels. These swivels are really good, too. For a primitive? That's not bad. I'm gonna make up these gun ports as well. We'll get there. We'll get there. Alright, 9.7. Nice, nice. 4.3. Okay, cool. These swivels are gonna be... Like, a swivel already, like, one-shots people. So, I guess if people have better armor or something along those lines, definitely gonna want these. Alright, but I feel like I've crafted up enough stuff. We need to go get some of these on the boat. Kind of get out from the base a little bit. And, yeah, let's let's rework the boat. I wanted to kind of wait to rework our Apollo boat until we had some of this stuff. Sails are next. I don't think I've got enough for the sails, though. Okay, I've been making some changes to this. As you can see, we've got the full lineup down here. Sadly... It's going to have to go. It's really not the meta to use gun ports anymore, sadly. So this needs to be reworked again, but look at it. I'll show you around as we put up these gun ports and stuff. But I really like this boat, and I really like, like, being able to design your boat, make them look cool, and, like, do, like, yeah, all this kind of customizable stuff with it. But then in the end, you know, 
as we all find out like a week in there's a meta and you have to pretty much follow that and uh otherwise your boat's gonna get sunk so we need to rework this so that it's you know more of like an armored brig without gun ports or at least without gun ports because that's just really a downfall um so i've got these guys on the swivels in the back here i'm not gonna replace those i'll just put the good ones on top here but this covers the back end really well actually i've got the sail people enclosed the sail person got this little balcony right there just to cover him pretty much this one right here covers this sail person so i'm gonna put a swivel right here as well so if you're wondering why there's these little like podiums here i think you can still yeah you can still access his inventory <laughs> through his head <laughs> the top of his head um but yeah if you wonder why these pedestals like this one here also covering another npc so it doesn't get you know sniped off and you can go in here and access them or whatever but at least those cover them i've got the better cannons in the front now these two swivels let me put this one here before i forget but yeah we need to put more heavies we'll go like all heavies on the side and you know remove the gun port sadly even though i really like how the boats look like this you know I gotta do that one of these days, but not today. Not today. We've got other stuff to do with this boat before I make it full PvP, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna continue to place these down, finish like lining these up, and we've got some PvP to get into. So we'll be back in a second. Like a sickle or something while uh, I am I'm sure done. it sinks. Oh shit. Kill them. Hey guys, all these all these sunken ships in their harbor. Three breaks left from what I can see. Couple schooners. Hello! Definitely uh, popcorn to galleons. What? So there's that. No way you guys galleons? just put it on two pillars. Galleons. That was a really big no ship way. for a break. The right. whole tower is just a break. Pillars, guys. I have popcorn to galleons. Two I mean, two uh, breaks. Can you so oh, the tiger, tiger coming together. to you guys on the beach. Guys, just you shoot the tiger. It's got low towers, HP. These two pillars, you, you destroy this whole tower. Or some explosive. Right behind the butts. All the hostiles are in the water between the beach and us, or what? Uh, so by their boats. Yeah. They're trying to yeah. stop us from popcorn. Guess who found their tiger? Kill it! Ready. I'll lure it, it's on neutral, I gotta bring it to the water, this is gonna fuck me up. Tiger's almost dead. Dead. Oh, Damn. that's super what the fuck? There we go. Guys, just to let you know, there's tw about 20 sets of plate armor and weaponry on board the snowflake still. Anything in it? Oh, uh, there's a guy over over to the left there. Yeah, he's going, he's going to look at the, where the, that's where I got it from. Yo, there's a dude shooting me somewhere from the back, but I don't know from, from where. Whole oh, pie is over crude. Got him. Done. Ah, uh, there was a dude on the fucking apple pie shooting me. Oh, look at dude. Take it. Me... Take it. I'm already filled with shit. Oh, uh, they're shooting mortars off the cliff, guys. Get out of there. Get the oh, fuck out of there. Get, out. get the fuck out of there. Now. Right now. Move. I need to heal, Jenny. Yikes. Let's get to that boat and get everything out of it, guys. It's gonna sink. Like, get down no, towards it. No, good. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. You think so? <laughs> I'm talking to Black Man. I got one noodle. <laughs> I really, really don't <laughs> think <laughs> that they're fine. Bye. <laughs> they have no sense. They sales. just got hit again. Like, get oh, down shit. here. They're, they're, they're missing at least like, 10 they're planes. They're hang gliding. They're hang gliding into Damn. it. It's gone. You gotta get down below and try and salvage this. If he, if he has ammo. not much left to salvage, I think. <laughs> I mean, gear. Uh, gear, I mean, maybe. Shit, that thing just got blown the fuck up. Oh, Jesus shit. Christ. Take, take the rest oh, of his bullets. Well, it's all fun and games until somebody breaks out the mortar. 
So, <laughs> so it's the end of this little grief. A uh, little bit of fun here at the end. Anyway, that's where we're going to stop for today. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up for me and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great day and of course, we'll catch you next time.